In the skies above East Asia, a new predator is spreading its wings. It's sleek, stealthy, and born from a dream that many said was impossible for a nation without a legacy of building fifth-generation fighters. But South Korea ignored the skeptics. In secret hangars and wind tunnels, engineers crafted a jet that could rewrite the balance of air power in the Pacific, the KF-21 Boramai. And the story of how it came to life is as thrilling as any Cold War arms race. For decades, South Korea relied on American-made fighters to guard its skies. F-4 Phantoms, F-16s, and later F-15Ks. But by the early 2000s, the country's leaders saw a dangerous trend. Regional rivals were investing heavily in stealth technology, advanced radar systems, and long-range missiles. Seoul needed a fighter that could not only keep pace, but dominate in a future where seconds could decide a war. In 2001, the idea was planted. Develop an indigenous fighter jet, one that would combine stealth, speed, and lethal precision, and prove that South Korea could stand shoulder to shoulder with the world's air power giants. In the late 20th century, South Korea's air force was modern but dependent. American F-4 Phantoms and F-16 Fighting Falcons patrolled the skies, Yet Seoul knew this reliance came with risks. The 1990s and early 2000s saw rapid military modernization in China, North Korea's missile tests growing bolder, and Japan's own advanced fighter projects emerging. South Korean leaders began asking a bold question, why buy the future when we can build it? And so in 2001, the seeds of the KFX program, Korea's Fighter E experimental project, were planted. From day one, the KF-21 faced fierce skepticism. Critics called it too expensive, too risky, and technologically impossible without foreign assistance. Allies worried about technology transfer, while adversaries dismissed it as an overambitious dream. Even within South Korea, some believed the country lacked the aerospace depth to rival Lockheed Martin, Sukhoi, or Dassault. But the government refused to back down, securing partnerships most importantly with Indonesia, which agreed to fund 20% of the project. This international alliance was fragile, but without it, the project might have died before it began. By 2015, the blueprint was in motion. Engineers envisioned a jet with the agility of the F-16, the stealth shaping of the F-35, and the range and weapons capacity to dominate the region. The design would focus on low observability, advanced radar, and multi-role flexibility. A fighter that could intercept enemy bombers, strike ground targets, and conduct maritime missions in a single sortie. But there was a catch. The KF-21 would not be a full fifth-generation stealth fighter at first. Instead, it would debut as a 4.5-generation aircraft, with the plan to upgrade to true fifth-gen capabilities over time. The first tangible proof of progress came in 2021 when the prototype rolled out at Korea Aerospace Industries in Sacheon. Its sleek, angular frame hinted at stealth, while its twin General Electric F414 engines promised blistering speed up to Mach 1.8. Defense analysts took notice. This wasn't just a regional defense project. It was a signal that South Korea had officially joined the handful of nations capable of producing advanced fighter jets from scratch. The KF-21's name, Boromai, meaning Young Hawk in Korean, symbolized a predator ready to take on the skies. On July 19, 2022, the Boromai roared into the air for its maiden flight. Cameras captured the moment as the jet sliced through the Korean sky, its twin afterburners glowing. For South Korea, this wasn't just a test. It was proof that two decades of planning, billions in investment, and unshakable determination had paid off. The fighter handled smoothly, executed flawless maneuvers, and returned to base with a new chapter in the nation's aviation history written in jet exhaust. While the Bormai is not yet as stealthy as the F-35, 
It incorporates radar-absorbing materials, reduced radar cross-section shaping, and an AESA radar developed domestically by Hanwha Systems. Its open architecture software allows for rapid upgrades, and its weapons bay is designed to eventually carry beyond visual range missiles internally for full stealth mode. For now, it can carry a mix of AIM-120 AMRAMs, Meteor missiles, precision bombs, and anti-ship weapons, making it a true multi-role powerhouse. The KF-21's debut caused ripples in East Asia's defense circles. Japan saw it as a wake-up call, while China and North Korea watched closely, knowing that South Korea now possessed the capability to challenge incursions at high speed and high altitude. Even the United States, an ally and supplier of the F-35, welcomed the development, seeing it as a force multiplier for Allied air power in the region. The ultimate goal is Block 3, a fully stealth-optimized KF-21 with internal weapons bays, enhanced radar-evading coatings, and artificial intelligence-assisted combat systems. With a planned production run of over 120 aircraft for the Republic of Korea Air Force and potential exports to countries like Poland, the Philippines, and the Middle East, the Bormai is more than just a jet. It's a statement a message that South Korea is ready to stand in the front ranks of military aviation's future. From a whispered idea in 2001 to a thundering maiden flight in 2022, the KF-21 Boramai is proof that determination, innovation, and a refusal to accept limits can lift a nation into the stratosphere of aerospace power. In a world where the skies are increasingly contested, the young hawk is no longer grounded. It's soaring, and the world is watching.